this is Chicken Dicker. As you can see, we're talking about the VK four five zero two B. Now, with the four five zero two B, this this tank I wanna do it in tank inspectors because uh, in the garage, of course, doesn't have the uh, hidden stats and such. So let's have a look at this tank. We all know that it's OP. is it's, it's gonna get changed to the uh, the mouse prototype called the Mousham or something, and the mouse somehow would keep the uh, one twenty mil at tier 10 the same gun as this no one 128 sorry and um the mouse and the prototype which is going to replace this one is going to get a 150 mil like the e100 i think and i, I don't know about it maybe would if, if the mouse is that good with the 150 would i want to get the mouse when they got very similar stats i don't know but so let's talk about the vkb anyway before it's going to get removed uh we're gonna talk about the frontal armor. This is what makes this tank probably the most OPS tank in the game if the correct situation comes. Now, why is it the correct situation? Uh, we gotta look at the the armor profile, of course. So, obviously, frontal armor very very tough. Two hundred on the front, two hundred lower plate. Upper uh, turret is two hundred and fifty. There is one hundred and sixty. Up is sixty. But they're all ridiculously well. Uh, angled so side armor is where you, you're gonna get the the tick basically this thing turns like a piece of shit it has one of the worst traverse speeds ever and if you got if you get around it this thing is uber bad because why it's got shitty gun depression um, because you know it's a rear mounted turret and uh, if you're small you can easily go around this tank and you just leave this tank trying to chase you with the turret spinning around and trust me this thing turns really slowly you can easily out uh, turn this guy's turret and uh, of course anywhere on the side on the rear you can pen them easily with any gun you're using you're gonna pen the side um, the side armor is what makes this thing bad I would say the only possible bad thing about this tank is the side armor I don't really care about rear armor you shouldn't give it to the enemy anyway so Frontal, uh, frontal armor must be aimed at the uh, the opponent at all cost. That is my plan in this tank. Uh, now this is a weak spot here. Uh, you can see there's just 170 mil of armor, whereas everywhere else is about 250. Somewhere, some sometimes you reach almost 300. Uh, lower plate. Don't even think about it. Look at that lower plate. N not even in Yagpun the E100 will reliably. I would say he wouldn't pen it actually, um, especially from a distance. This thing is incredible. The lower plate is the, the closer you get to the lower plate, the more angled it is. So, do not shoot it from close up at all. The only two viable options is load the heat, uh, go for his uh, flat armor here. You, you can drill it through as long as you've got more than 250 pen. So if you're driving like a T54 medium tank, you, you heat this shit up every time. And that is really the only place you want to shoot this tank. Uh, here, if you got heat rounds, and if, if you don't have, of course, the reliable pen, um, and you're driving another, like, let's say, 200 pen gun, uh, the only possible option then would be you to shoot this uh, here. You could pen it, but... Uh, this spot could also be viable, but the thing is, this thing is really well like rounded. So if you're gonna miss this exact spot here, you're gonna look. Go, it's gonna go up really high, to 90, and then ricochet straight away. So the only possible pending spot, you need 200 pen. Remember, if you're in the IS6, the only frontal weak spot you can pen in your IS6 with your gold rounds is that place there. And uh, if you get lucky, you can hit it here. But of course, that's such a small target, 170, and you're not really guaranteed to pen it uh, as well. Um, if I was the VKB, I would be moving backward and forward to shake you off the aim on this spot here, this spot here. But still, it's still got that well armored for anything really. Uh, if the VKB angles like this, you can pen it with 230 pen like this so I my recommendation in the VKB is that you just don't angle it you either don't angle it or you drive up to them in this angle where it's automatic ricochet at this angle 
but don't side scrape more than that if you give this angle it's gonna be easier for some targets to pen and then if you ain't over angle it like you do in like e75 style then it's obviously gonna get penned by uh, a couple of uh, guns you're gonna face so my option is don't even waste your time shooting on the front of this thing just go around it but if you can't then obviously frontal targets you just shoot it with heat uh, but th that's pretty much it about this uh, awesome tank uh, so let's have a look at the the mobility and uh, firepower and all that. 498 and pretty good. The damage per minute is pretty bad, I would say, although u usable. Uh, just like the E25 actually. Uh, survivability is is all good. Uh, don't tend to get that much uh, things knocked out. Uh, maybe engine sometimes, but. Normally it's it's okay. Uh, I tend to find that it, I don't even give a shit if I see tier ten on on or what. Um, I I once bullied a mouse one v one. You can imagine just how awesome this tank is. And uh, so let's stop talking about it in this uh, view and go into the games. This is my uh, selection of all the games I've played. Uh, obviously, this one is gonna demonstrate to you the, the sheer brutality of this tank. Um, now, I, I did have a really good game even in my first ever game in this tank. I tanked out 3k damage and only received one RT hit. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you use it carefully in the right way, I, I, this thing is incredible. Um, but you should not be alone because outflanked, you're super dead. Uh, because you're not like the mouse where you can bounce even most shots from the side. And the thing with this thing is that it's got rear mounted turret, which actually trains you up pretty well for your mouse. Um, the rear mounted turret makes it somewhat weird to play. Um, if you're experienced with rear mounted turret, like the Object 416 and all those Russian mediums, then this won't be that much of a problem. But of course, I played the E75 before I got the VKB, and sometimes when you go around corners, it's just it's weird and uh, I do not <laughs> recommend you to any time drive reverse backward and sh and shoot them across a corner because you just get pen every time so don't don't hesitate you know when you see a VKB any chance you can outflank it do so uh, but of course um, our highlight of this uh, video is gonna be this guy called Herbert123 in a T30 now he is going to be a great power in this game, uh, as we're going to see. Um, he is going to actually do some random teamwork in this game. Um, so I, I I just show you this game because it's, it's got some teamwork. And look, I shoot it side of E75. Why would you go out in the E75 with your side on? on? You see, he took 1,000 damage in that quick succession. Why? Just, I, I, don't, I don't understand it. The, the, is his brain washed with shit or something? So I put one shot into the uh, E25 feet. He knocked out my engine in the first ever shot I, ta I took. And where did it go in? My si side, I believe. So, yeah, the side armor, you do need to, to deal with it. Um, you can see I'm struggling to pen him, but I aim for his side armor, which is actually really well, really badly angled. So I, I, tried, I tried it, but it didn't work. Now, I see the T30. Uh, getting tracked there and he's getting knocked out. I'm like, idiot E75. Uh, I was quite raised, you know, that that's that E75 up there in front who uh, who was just uber dumb to suicide like that. No lower play shot. I shot his machine gun port, but he penned me. And where did he go through me? I don't know. Oh, the top here. Yeah, yes, you can see. So, yeah, VKB. Got fairly lucky, I would say, to be able to do that. I aim for his tracks and some hadn't pen. Um, now the, the APCR round should come out. I'm trying to block it for the uh, T30. This is completely necessary for me to help out the T30 and also not block him because T30 is a massive damage dealer. I do not want to uh, block him, uh, but also I need to make sure I hide his lower plate as much as possible. And then I just want to tank it for him basically. Um, so we can win this one. So I aimed for the wrong place, really. Um, looking back at it, I was APCR. I could have penned him straight on the flat part, but I didn't do that, which is a shame. But um, 
the gun depression on this tank is not that good on the front. So you're gonna struggle from time to time, but of course with the experience I've had with other tanks uh, such as the Chinese 121 and such, this thing is awesome uh, even without the gun depression because you can tank shots like a boss and look, I'm just giving them the shots, here, here, but they just can't pen me. If, if I just do the right thing uh, and they don't fire gold then obviously it's good, so gun depression failed me there again. Um, I decided not to kill the E-25 because uh, I want to sh shave down all their health and you see they can't do shit to me when I'm angled right in front of them. I'm bullying an E-75 reliably here. Um, I, I load back to AP now, there's no point for any more APCR round and holy shit I was looking the wrong way at the wrong time and did take a hit from the 5100 which is bad but uh, I don't know this game is not that good but I just feel like um, I, I just felt like showing you this because it's some random teamwork. I did fail quite hard from time to time, but was, although that, the armor is really illustrated in this gameplay uh, due to the fact that really every single game is like this where nobody pins you, but somehow I bounced on the <coughs> front of the Centurion. That was quite lucky actually. He only has like 80 mil or something, but it was quite well angled, so I gave him that. And uh, didn't do any further damage. This is this was a pretty below average game, but still, I bullied the E seventy five and all that. I do have Ace in this thing already. Uh, I, I lost the gameplay, so I'll, I'll see when I can find it.